If you want to learn Google Analytics, you must have access to some real website and real data. That way you can get at least some practical knowledge. But what if you don't have a website? In this video, I will show you a free solution that will take you less than a minute to get started. Below this video, you will find a link to this page on the Google Analytics documentation. Or you can just go to Google search and enter G for demo account and then click one of the first links. On this page, you should go to the section access demo account and then click on Google Analytics for property, Google Merchandise Store. Before you click this link, you must have already created a Google Analytics account. And when I say Google Analytics account, I mean that you need to go to analytics.google.com and complete the first steps if you never had any property before. So when you have an analytics account, then you can go to this documentation that I previously mentioned and click on Google Analytics for property, Google Merchandise Store. That property is getting data from a real website, which is Google Merchandise Store. So when people are browsing the website, choosing products and pay for them, that data is available in the demo account. However, what I've noticed, which is probably a temporary bug and maybe, or hopefully they will fix this in the future. Sometimes when you look at the list of all properties you have, you will not find that demo property. So if that is your case, then you should go and enter the word demo in this search field right here, and then select GA4 Google Merchandise Store. And here is some real life data. However, keep in mind that there are some limitations. You don't have the permission to edit the settings of this property. So if you want to add some additional events or maybe change some settings, you won't be able to do that. But if you want to see how data looks in the reports, how to use the interface, how to navigate those reports, then demo property is definitely a good option if you don't have access to any real website and its data. And you can start your journey to get more familiar with the interface of Google Analytics 4 by going to reports and then check the reports that are available in acquisition, engagement, monetization, and so on. If you want to go a bit more advanced and slice data from various angles, then you can go to explore and use things such as freeform or funnel or some other exploration. Also, another place where you can practice your Google Analytics 4 configuration skills, where you can learn them and apply them, it's my Google Analytics 4 course, where I give you access to the Sandbox website. On that website, you can implement Google Tag Manager, install your Google Analytics, and then see how events and how data is coming in based on your configuration. I am biased here, but if you don't have access to some real website, then the best option is to have the combination of the official demo account of Google Analytics and my Sandbox website where you can install your own Google Analytics. If you want to learn more about my Google Analytics 4 course, I will post a link to it below the video. And that is how you can get access to the official Google Analytics 4 demo account. Of course, there are some limitations with permissions, but this is much better than having nothing. If you found this video useful, hit the thumbs up button below the video. That will help me understand what videos do you like and what should I create in the future. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager or Google Analytics 4, then consider subscribing to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.